Hi. Do we, do we have capacity for growth? Probably the answer is yes. But we have a message from someone who provides a very persuasive answer for this question. This man is Carl Rogers. Carl Rogers is one of the most important psychologists who deals with the question of uh, how can we become a person. Uh, Rogers is one of the important uh, psychologists of humanistic psychology movement. Probably he is the most famous humanistic psychologist. Uh, of course, humanistic psychology is a reaction, is a response, is a challenge to psychoanalysis and behaviorism. What humanistic psychology is really telling us is something different. It is very, it emphasizes the importance of freedom, the importance of future, and the most importantly, it provides us a very important optimistic uh, outlook about ourselves, about our future. Uh, humanistic psychology doesn't limit us with our past. It always shows us uh, we can do, we can improve ourselves uh, in a future-oriented way. So, as a humanistic psychologist, Carl Rogers developed a very special theory. This theory has been called as uh, person-centered uh, uh, therapy. The concept of person-centered therapy means, it means that uh, the ability to change, the ability to develop personality comes from, from individual himself or herself. No power from outside can, can change or can improve our personality. It is us who can make change. So the message Carl Rogers give us, to, give, us to, uh, give us give us you can be change yourself. So this is a very important idea actually. So making individual as the source of improvement, as the source of change uh, is the reason why uh, Carl Rogers' theory has been called as per, uh, person-centered uh, theory. Carl Rogers also focused on our consciousness. He doesn't talk about unconsciousness. And also he talks about our experience. So, uh, our experience, our individuality, determines our perception of reality. So, Rogers tells us that reality is what you are perceiving. So, it's a sort of subjective understanding of reality. That means that you only could understand yourself. You could only understand your feelings, your thoughts, your behavior. Because it is you, as a person, you construct reality uh, according to your personal and private experiences, 
according to your personal and private perception. So in Roger's theory, person occupies a central place. So Rogers tell us that every individual has a natural tendency which comes from their humanness. Being human uh, requires this natural uh, tendency. What is it? That uh, our natural tendency, our natural motivation is to actualize, to improve our potentials uh, and our capacity. Because uh, Rogers don't believe part-time functioning person. He believes that every individual can be a fully functional person. So the main idea, the main uh, theory in Rogers, uh, the main uh, central idea in Rogers' theory uh, is actualization tendency, growth uh, tendency. Uh, we have motivation uh, to realize to experience, to maintain and to enhance uh, our personality. So, this is the heart idea of uh, Roger's theory. So, of course, we are going through, we are experiencing many different things. And then we evaluate what is the worth of this experience for me? What is the value of this experience for me? So whether we say, yes, this experience helped me to improve uh, my ability or my capacity, or we could say, yes, this experience could hinder uh, my capacity and my improvement. So we are always in the process of making evaluation what we are experiencing. So uh, the process of making constant evaluation about our experiences has been called uh, as organismic valuing process by Rogers. So, Rogers values human individual. He said that every human individual must have a positive evaluations about themselves. But that does not mean that uh, we are ignoring what other people think about us. Uh, he said that every individual needs acceptance, needs receiving love and approval from other. But we want this acceptance with this love and this approval from others in a positive manner. Uh, this idea uh, has been called as positive uh, regard. And of course, uh, Rogers, uh, Rogers goes one step further and he said that, for example, mothers love their children regardless what they are doing. This is a sort of unconditional uh, regard. So, loving someone freely and fully, as in the case of uh, mother's love for their children, shows that 
mother's love is not dependent on uh, child's behavior. So similarly, in, in the relationship between person and therapist, there must be a similar uh, relations. Therapist must have a sort of unconditional positive regards for the person uh, he or she is communicating with. That means that therapist must give a message to his client, say, I don't care about what you, uh, what you do or what you did, what I, care, what I care about you, what, what I care is you, and you are here. I fully value you, and I have a very highest, uh, the highest uh, regard uh, for you. So, of course, this is something very important idea. Uh, in the relationship between therapist and client. And of course, we are always, as I said before, we are always evaluating ourselves. We are saying, in which condition I am going to be evaluated by others in a positive manner. How can, which condition makes me to be accepted, to be approved by others? So, uh, and we say, okay, this under this condition, uh, I will have, I will have positive uh, approval and acceptance by others. So this situation has been called by. Uh, uh, Rogers as uh, positive self-regard and of course uh, uh, Rogers uh, always produce concept uh, about whom, how human individuals are valuing or making evaluations about themselves. And he's also talking about the conditions of uh, word. Uh, I mean, people, when people have some sort of beliefs about some behaviors, if they do this behavior, people believe that, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, uh, meeting the conditions of word. So the conditions of word is a very important concept. Uh, again, Rajerian, we find in Rajerian perspective. And of course, uh, Rogers talk about unconditional uh, positive regard. On the other hand, he's also talking about conditional uh, positive uh, regard. Uh, of course, other people uh, don't love us, don't uh, approve our behaviors unconditionally. Uh, they accept or they approve or they love us uh, as long as uh, we meet uh, some conditions. So, if the approval, acceptance and love from others depends on some conditions, this situation called as conditional positive uh, self-regard. Of course, uh, Rajas' idea of human being is not a straight concept. 
uh, he said that when individual makes evaluation about himself or herself, uh, sometimes uh, individuals uh, find uh, contradictions, uh, discrepancy between their concept of uh, self at the same time about their aspect of experience. People uh, could think that they are a very humanitarian person. They, I mean, this is a characteristic of their self. But on the other hand, they could uh, find out that they are hating uh, some persons or some groups. How can you be a humanitarian person as well as someone who hates uh, other. So, this is, I mean, uh, every individual could find himself or herself such a conflictual, uh, difficult uh, situation. In this such situation represent a state of incongruency in our personality. So, uh, Rogers always talks about uh, human individual is a positive manner, be aware of your abilities, you are a unique person, regard yourself positively, just the most important task in your life is uh, to actualize yourself. So self-actualization in uh, Roger uh, Roger's theory means to maximize our potentials and our capacity. So if we fully and freely makes all our capacity and abilities uh, dynamic, creative, and open, that means that we are in the way to becoming a fully functioning person. So, f the concept of fully functioning person is the most important aim for personality development. Then, the question is, what is, what are the characteristics of fully functioning person. Uh, fully functioning in order to be in order to be a fully functioning person, you have to be aware of all experiences. We have to open ourselves uh, to all feelings, all experiences. So openness is the key. And also, we must seek novelty. We must uh, always uh, look for uh, fresh experiences. We must always look at what is new, what is novel. So, novelty and freshness is ex in experience is another important aspect of uh, fully to be uh, to be fully functioning person and at the same time we have to trust ourselves we have to trust our behavior our feelings i mean if we are not sure of ourselves uh, the, probably uh, this could create a sort of conflict, a sort of chaos inside us. So, 
the message Rogers give us actually trust yourself this is I think very important message and also Rogers said that you are a free person you have freedom of choice use your freedom of choice don't limit yourself just use your freedom of choice freely openly and fully so in order to be fully functioning person we have to be fully free person this is a very important idea so freedom brings creativity freedom brings spontaneity and also in order to be fully functioning person we have to constantly uh, to grow we have to strive uh, for maximizing our potential and capacity so this is in this regard Roger is making very important point he said in order becoming a fully functioning person is not uh, an event it is a process so it is a, a sort of endless destination we have to walk towards it so throughout throughout all, all our lives we have to work we have to spend all our energy and motivation in order to become fully functioning person as we see Rogers uh, theory of person-centered uh, therapy and personality theory is a theory of freedom he emphasized every individual is unique and every individual is free and Rogers said, uh, say to us don't you have you don't have to carry the burden of your past leave your past behind you just be busy to do things uh, for future this is another important idea we are uh, learning from it so Rogers tell us that be individual be fully functioning individual be creative and be dynamic be your personality must be the change itself no one can change you you can only change yourself when you change yourself this is the beginning of how, uh, how you can become a fully functioning person thank you